Adobe Captivate 7 allows you to create different variations of drag and drop interaction as per your requirement. Let me show you one such example today where I have attached audio feedback to each drop target. In this example, you can see that if I place a wrong number on a wagon, it goes back and gives me an audio feedback. And for the correct feedback as well, we have a standard audio file that you can use. But what if you want to provide some audio feedback to the learner, telling them that they have done the right thing and reiterate their learning. So let's see what I've done here. So here you can see when I place number three between two and four, here's the feedback that I get. That's right. Number three comes after number two and before number four. So here when I put four, it doesn't give me that feedback. And awesome. Number four comes after number three and before number five. So let's see how we can create such an interaction where you can have your own audio feedback attached to the correct responses. So uh, let me start with a new uh, project and here what I've done is I have placed these images of numbers here and for the placeholders what I've done is I've changed the alpha to zero so that it's not visible. So if you turn the alpha to 100% you will notice that it's actually the number that is supposed to be there. So uh, just to have the perfect placement for uh, the draggable I have placed created this drop target by duplicating uh, the number and changing the alpha to zero. Let's quickly add the drag and drop interaction to the screen. So I will go to insert and click launch drag and drop wizard. Here the first thing I have to do is to select the draggables. So I will just go and select all the numbers that I want as draggables. Now here notice here I have certain numbers like 9 and 1 which do not fit into any of these uh, blocks. Such draggables are known as decoy draggables and we can have similar decoy drop targets for uh, the drop areas as well which are not associated with any draggable. So here we've selected the, the draggables. Let's go to the next step and now we have to identify the drop targets. So I will select all the drop targets uh, that I want. Click next. And now we have to show the relationship. So here it should be three number. So I will click and drag an arrow from number three to this placeholder. Here we need number five. So we'll search for number five and place the number five uh, arrow here. Here it should be seven. So I will just drag an arrow from here and place it here. Similarly, for the rest of the three, we'll do the same action. Once this is done, our drag and drop interaction is ready to rock and roll. So I'll just click finish. Now let's associate the audio feedback with these placeholders. So I will just go and select the placeholder, go to the accept panel, uncheck all the draggable names and go and select only the one that I want to be accepted. I will select D3 and here instead of no action, I have to play audio. I will go and select the file that I want to play which I have already imported in the library. If you have not imported, you can click the import button and get the audio file from there. Click uh, the audio file name that you want to import and click OK. Once you are done with that, don't forget to click on this down arrow and uncheck continue movie at the end of the audio. This will allow you to keep the playhead at the same location and not continue. So we will keep this option unchecked and click OK. We'll do the same thing for the other options. So I will go to 5, uncheck everything, select D5 and instead of no action we will say play audio, uncheck this option and select 5 and click OK. I've done that for the rest of the placeholders and now let's preview if it's working fine. So I'll press F4. So with fingers crossed, I will try and place 3 here. That's right. Number 3 comes after number 2 and before spot on. Number 7 comes after number fantastic. Number 2 comes awesome. Number 4 comes after number 3 and before number 5. So you can see that you can easily attach audio feedback to your drag and drop interaction and make them shine.